This program is a part of a series of studies that our Pastor Gion has prepared for you. Welcome to Victory Church Odessa. Our goal is to exalt the name of our Lord Jesus and to encourage you to develop more faith by reflecting on the Bible. We hope you will enjoy this program. Now let me introduce you to our Pastor Gian. Gospel Parallels, Episode 58, December 20, 2023. This is the Bible study with Victory Church Odessa. And I am Gian. How are you, my dear friend? I'm the founding pastor of Victory Church. And today we are about to start another episode of the series Gospel Parallels. And I remind you about all our platforms. And remember, you can see all this when you go to the website vchurch.us. I encourage you to enjoy the website. You can enjoy 24-hour programming, Christian programming, audio and video. But what happened here last week? Well, we studied the treasures. This week, today, we are going to study about the lamp of the body. The reading comes from the easy-to-read version, and we read in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Please, Lord, guide us through this study. Amen. Jeho, please put the scriptures there. Thank you. Thank you. From the New International Version, we read Matthew 6, 22, 23. The lamp of the body is the eye. So if your eye is pure, your whole body will be full of light. But if your eye is evil, your whole body will be dark. So if the light in you is darkness, how much is the darkness? <laughs> Luke 11, 34, 36. The lamp of the body is your eye. When your eye is pure, your whole body is full of light. But if it is evil, your body is dark. So be careful. Don't let the light in you become darkness. If you are full of light and there is no part of you that is dark, then you will be all bright. As though you have the light a, of a lamp shining on you. My dear friend, let me tell you something. There are many angles to the holiness of a believer. And today I want to encourage you to consider this as the objective of this particular doctrine the Lord Jesus gave us. How is it that our eye will lead us to holiness or we will just go rogue? So, you know that your eyes are the windows of your soul. Many people say that and it makes sense because number one, as as a window, you know that a window, like you see here behind me, through the window you will see outside. But at the same time, from outside they can see inside. And that is exactly what happens with your eyes. You know, with your eyes you are looking at everything outside. But it is also in your eyes that people can see what is what you really have inside. Your eyes reflect what you have inside. And it's very interesting when you engage on a conversation with someone and suddenly this person is avoiding having eye contact. Mm, that's a little bit strange, don't you think? You are trying to look at somebody into his eyes, into her eyes to have a conversation or to dig a little bit more about that particular question you have and this person is refusing to give you eye contact. Something is not right. Why in the world would you refuse to have eye contact when someone is asking you a question? You know, it's, it's a little bit difficult for some people to keep eye contact when they are having a conversation. Because sometimes you are thinking about something and you are remembering things or you are looking at something distracts you, your visual, right? There is nothing wrong with keeping a conversation while you look in different angles. That's okay. But refusing entirely to have eye contact with someone, that right there is telling you something. And that is the beginning of this study today. Now, what is the meaning of having evil eyes? Well, you know that very well. You look at people, you look into their eyes, and then you can tell pretty quickly 
what is what they are thinking, what is what they want, because your eyes are focused on what you really desire. You can see in people when they have bad intentions, there is something very intense in their eyes when you know that they have bad intentions, whether it's jealousy or envy or the desires to hurt you, for example. And of course, the other aspects of lust, like when someone is interested sexually in somebody else, for example, or many other feelings and attitudes. You just look into this person's eyes and you say, uh, something is not right in this picture. Now, on the other hand, you need to think about yourself because you also are sending messages through your eyes, whether you are paying attention or not. Even if you don't really want to, you know, your eyes are reflecting and you are going to be focused on those things that you care for. You, you are focused on those things. You know that uh, when someone is uh, interested in doing something bad or in watching something that is wrong, you know that the dense forces of the darkness operate to seduce your flesh with the intention of misleading you from the things of the Spirit. When you want something that is bad, evil, perverse, and you are looking for those things, you know, whether it's on your on your phone device, your computer, on the TV with the remote, or simply everywhere you are, your, your eyes are just searching, searching, searching. You know, it's just a matter of time that you will find the bad things you want because the power of the darkness is real and the tense forces of the darkness, they will operate to seduce your flesh. And of course, what is the intention to mislead you from the things of the Spirit? And then you wonder why you are doing what is wrong. Because everything begins with a desire, and then that desire forces your eyes to look, looking for whatever is what you wanted. Then you are an easy prey for the dense forces of the darkness. Is that what you want? I don't think so. So, what is what we do? Well, we need to understand that our eyes have tremendous power. And uh, one of the things that we know, because it's a fact, is that we set our eyes in our time, we use our time, in those things where we enjoy. And sometimes the thing is we are just looking for the pleasure, just enjoying ourselves, our flesh. <laughs> That's a big problem, because you can put in that category many things, including food or alcohol, drugs, sex, or simply doing nothing. So many things. You just set your mind, you set your eyes, and then immediately that is going to lead you to enjoy your flesh. That is why you need to also always think of entertaining yourself in a decent way in a decent way. There are many options today to get entertain, entertained, my friend. You can entertain yourself in a decent way without doing what is wrong, without offending the Lord God. And everything begins with the desire and the ability that you have in your eyes. If you pay attention carefully to those desires, you will see that you can lead your eyes exclusively to good things. You can if you want to. You just say, no, I'm not going to be looking at those things that are not good. I'm going to focus on things that are pure. Because you care for the light. You care for the truth. And you care for God, love, compassion, good things, holiness. All this, as you can see, is leading you towards holiness. There, this is, there is the, the issue precisely of many Christians failing constantly in their walk in the Lord because they cannot keep the holiness for one simple reason. They cannot control their eyes. They are just going constantly wherever their eyes are leading them. 
And you know what? That's a problem. You need to leave your eyes exclusively to good things. You need to be thinking about what is pure and noble and something that, that is worthy to be praised. And that has to do with the light, truth, and love. When you are looking at people and when you are seeing things everywhere and, and you look at everyone and, and everything in a pure way, you know what's going to happen? This will illuminate your whole body. The light is going to come inside of you because it's what you want. Pure things. And then you will be able to walk in the light all the time. Walking in the light. What is the meaning of that? The meaning of that is that you will be pleasing the Lord. Isn't it that your main objective? Pleasing God? Because, you know, people, Christians, go to church with the desire of pleasing God because they are hoping something good is going to happen in their lives if they are going to church. But, you know, one hour, two hours on a Sunday morning, it's not going to make a big difference in your life if throughout the week you are only thinking of things to please your flesh. But when you look at everyone and everything in a pure way, this will illuminate your whole body. You just so see things from the right angle, my friend. And you see everyone from the right angle. Sometimes what, what is the, the problem we have is that we have so many bad influences. And the jokes, the dirty jokes and the hostility or even bullying can come up quickly to anyone because of the type of people that you are surrounded by. Then is when you need to think, what am I doing here with these people? It's all about dirty jokes. Everything has to have a meaning behind with words. And you know, it is almost impossible to have conversations that are absolutely holy the whole day. Not because you don't want to, it's simply the interaction with other humans. You know, it is impossible to, to dwell in an environment where nobody is not going to say anything bad. I mean, it, that's life. But not because you are surrounded with people saying bad things or dirty jokes or always trying to, uh, you know, say something that is not pure and holy. But that doesn't mean that you are going to go along with it. They can say whatever they want, and you still keep your eyes in a pure way. This will illuminate your whole body. Is is the power of God. I want you to get this, because this is fundamental for your success. When you make the decision, I'm going to see at everyone, look at everyone, and I'm going to look at you know, in everything, just in a pure way, when you make that decision, Light is going to illuminate your whole body. And when you have the light in your whole body, you will walk in the light the whole time. Walking in the light. So one day somebody asked me this question. Is it possible to keep impurity and holiness the whole day? And I said, it is. You just need to think about living the next minute in purity and holiness. You just think about this minute, not what you're going to be doing in three hours from now. Just set your mind, I'm going to keep my eyes on the Lord Jesus this minute and on everything you do. When you think that the Lord Jesus is there watching you, you're going to behave. And you say, I'm not going to do anything wrong. I want to please my Lord. You are just aware that Lord Jesus is here with me. He, he, he is watching me behaving. So your actions are going to be pure and honorable. You will actually give, bring honor to God when you do that. And it all begins when you think, what do I want to do with my life? I want to please God. I want to please God for real. Well, Put your eyes on the Lord Jesus all the time.
you say, I'm not going to be looking at things that are not right. I'm not going to be part of conversations that are not pure. And I'm not going to be thinking ugly things, nasty things, anything that is not decent. I'm going to be thinking about everyone and everything in a pure way. Because this will make me experience light inside of me all the time to please God. And you can do it, my friend. Thank you for being here with us today. This was episode 58 here in Gospel Parallels. I remind you, our website, vchurch.us, please go enjoy everything that we have available. There are wonderful books that you can read. There is poetry. And, of course, our 24-7 broadcast Christian programming video and audio here in Victory Church, Odessa. Have a beautiful rest of your day. Victory Radio is now available 24-7. Visit our website, www.victoryradio.us. Great music, positive messages, optimism to keep you company while you work, or when you drive, or when you are at home cooking. Faith is what you need. Faith comes when you hear the right thing. Victory Radio is the new thing. Find us on the website, www.victoryradio.us. Have a great rest of your day. If you own a Roku TV, a Roku TV device, an Apple TV device, or own a Fire Stick, we invite you to install the Gion TV app. With the Gion TV app installed on your TV, you will be able to watch all the videos from the comfort of your home and be inspired with our programs. Enjoy music, inspirational videos, Bible teachings, and beautiful videos that will keep your tank of faith full all the time at the touch of a button. Remember G on TV. Receive the inspiration to achieve your calling in life. By G and Carlo Vitutoro. I know you have suffered, but what if you would have never met your mom because she died giving birth to you? That's the beginning of Simon's story. Then Simon's father died when he was only 15 years old. He was sent to a foster home where he was bullied, humiliated, and there was no one to protect him. But Simon decided to find a way to get his revenge by studying and becoming good at sports. He won a scholarship, and soon he started his own business, Simon Yardwork. Mean people were envious of his success, but one day, Simon met and fell in love with Jackie. They were happy, until the FBI arrested Simon due to clues that incriminated him with several murdered people. Will Simon end up in prison? Don't miss the outcome of this story, The Best Revenge, the musical that will inspire everyone to pay good for evil. Go to mygiancarlo.com to purchase The Best Revenge on audio and video. Welcome to this website, MyNewMentor.com. Here you will find the tools to establish a direct communication with your new mentor, Gian. Get the available spot on Gian's schedule and set your appointment to have an audio or video call via Skype with Gian. Do you like new movies, new books, new music? Go to MyGianCarlo.com. There is a new album, Adore, 10 songs. I wrote the songs and I sing those songs with a wonderful band of musicians and singers. If you sign up in mygiancarlo.com, I will give you one song for free. Take advantage of this free song and enjoy this wonderful production. The blessings of God are going to come to you when you are listening to the right thing, God's Word. You can find us in all of these platforms. Search for Gian TV on Apple TV, Roku TV, and Fire TV. Do you prefer a podcast? Find us too. And remember Victory Radio 24-7. The kingdom of God is near. Thank you for investing time with Victory Church Odessa. Feel free to subscribe to our channel here on this platform. Also, you can go to our website, vchurch.us, to connect with the rest of the platforms where you can follow us. Our address is 2400 West 81st Street, Odessa, Texas, 79764. Our Sunday worship service begins at 10 a.m. 
Our phone number is 432-614-9798. Our email address is info at vchurch.us. Feel free to share this program with your family and friends. Until next time, we wish you a wonderful rest of your day. Many blessings in the name of our Lord Jesus.